directed care or attending care? What's it really all about? KC, tell me, what's it really all about, all right? So look, if you're here with me now, you got to know who I am. My name is KC Kion Church, all right? A lot of people like to call me, you know, the helper guy, the, uh, the big-hearted caregiver. You know, what I do is I get on a lot to give you all the best information that you need so you could possibly navigate your life through Medicaid and into this long-term health care program so either you or a family member can get paid, all right? If you're here with me on Facebook, I'm going to just go through the rules with you. It's a little comment bar at the bottom. If you never did anything like this before and you need to get a question out, all you got to do is put your little comment in there and, you know, the, the big-hearted caregiver or answer that live. Happy Tuesday. Miss Ludia, how you doing today? Happy Tuesday. Look, hashtag your city, hashtag your state. Let me know where you at, where you watching this broadcast from, you know. I'm going to try to get into it. Now, look, I got some good topics I'm going to start bringing you every day. They told me, the people say, look, man, you got all the good information, but you holding it to yourself, Casey. I'm going to need you to dispense this good info so everybody can know what to do in Medicaid and how to get in a long-term health care program. So, with that being said, self-directed care or attending care. What's really the difference, all right? Okay. This is what it is, you know, you need a, you, you need somebody to help you, right? Now, it's only, we both know, me and you both know, it's only one program, one insurance that will pay for a caregiver, for a non-skilled person to do any kind of medical help. Non-skilled means uh, they haven't been to, uh, to a school, they haven't gotten a certificate. What that means is they're a big-hearted caregiver just like me. You need a little help, that's the person who will help you. Now... Self-directed care is when you get into the program and the insurance company sends you with another company and they want you to do what's called self-directed care. Now, look, I'm going to go over the benefits. You may say self-directed care is all that. You know what I mean? Some, well, all of the people I know say self-directed care sucks and they say they like attending care. And I'm going to break it down to you real fast. All right. So self-directed care is you as the Medicaid member. What you need to do, they want you to hire a person. They, they won't put you with a company. They're going to put you with a company that's going to dispense the checks. But they're not going to do any any other work. You know what I mean? And you as the member, it's your job to, uh, to get it going. So what they're going to want you to do, they're going to want you to find a person to take care of you. That may be easy because you might got a son, you might got a daughter, a loved one, a cousin, a relative. You know, somebody might be laying on your couch right now who, who helps you out during the day. Now, that's, that's great. You found a person. Now, what they want you to do is they want you to get a... They want you to get them two-part TB shot. You know what I mean? Now, everybody, this is a state job. A lot of people forget that even though you're working in somebody's personal home, this is really like a state job. You know what I mean? So, because uh, the state sets up the rules and regulations on how the game can be played. So, they say they want everybody to have a two-part TB shot. Now, if you don't know what a TB shot is, that means tuberculosis. You know what I mean? That's, that's I don't know, it's bigger than me. So, what they do is... You go down there to like a med express or to your doctor and they stick this thing in your arm, you know, somewhere. And then you come back in a, re in a week and they read it, you know. Now, this is a two-part. So you got to do it one week and then you come back and you do it the next week. But you as the member, if you're doing self-directed care, this is like your duty. You know what I mean? You want to hire some people, you the boss. You know what I mean? That's why they call it self-directed because you're directing all the actions, all right? Now, they're going to want you to make sure your person has a physical you know, you need good people in there with you. Uh, if you got some moving around, some ambulating to do, you know, uh, 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 stuff like that, you're going to need somebody good in there to be able to help you. And they got to be physically fit. So the state wants them to have a physical. You know what I'm saying? Also, they're going to want them to be uh, to be drug screened. You know, the state don't want to give nobody no money if they, you know, they, they have an extracurricular fund. You know what I'm saying? So also they're going to want you to do a, a SBI background check on this person, you know, that's where uh, you check the adult and the child abuse registries, you know, just to make sure you don't got no crazy people in your house, all that kind of stuff. Now, this may or may not be a lot to you, you know what I mean? And and I'm saying that because, uh, wow, my young boy is, wow, 80 pounds today. I just got a text. So, look, they're going to want you to do a lot of stuff. They're going to want you to make sure this person is straight. They're going to want you to do everything they can under the sun. Everything that really I'm thinking like is day job because you don't want to need the help, you know, or you can do what's called a program called attendant care. Now, attendant care is beautiful. Attendant care, if you got the right people in your corner, everything can happen. It's like a magic show. All you got to do is sit back and watch like this. Cocoa Beach, y'all. You feel me? 
That's how they do it with attending care. Now, what kind of company handles attending care? Hey, Reliable A Inc. will handle all your attending care. Now, I'm going to tell you why attending care is so special. Like I said, you got to find an attendant, which is a direct care worker. You know what I mean? In other words, a caregiver. Now, we'll do that for you if you don't have anybody. Now, what we specialize in is hiring a family caregiver to, uh, you know, take care of you. That's what Reliable Aid specials, specializes in. So, what we'll do is we'll take that person, we'll get them a two-part TV shot, we'll get them a physical, we'll get them a drug screen, we'll get them a background check, you know what I mean? We'll make sure their COVID status and everything is cool. Everything they need to come into your house, you know what I mean? And if they're already in your house, that'll be even easier for us because, you know, all I got to do is put the paperwork even, through even faster, all right? So, the one thing you want to know is... Is it better? I don't know. You know, maybe you like being a boss. Maybe you sick, you, you tired, you you uh, you need a little help, but you still want to run the show. If you still feel like you got some extra energy in with you, you know, do this self-directed care. But if you like my pop or you like everybody else in the whole world who I know that needs some help, they want to lay back and get the help. So, you know, call a company like Reliable Aid, 302-689-3240. Look, get me on the phone say, hey, KC, man. I want to do some attendant care services with your company. You know, my, my nephew takes care of me every day, man. Can you get him a paycheck? Yes, I can. All right? Simple as that. Like my boy Kurt from Baltimore used to say, man, simple as that, KC, simple as that. <laughs> so look, man, if y'all got any questions, if you got any comments, let me know. Don't be afraid. Uh, once again, my name is Kion Church. I'm the Delaware District Administrator of Reliable Aid. I'm here to help you. I'm going to start coming on here every day, get this good content up. Good strategies help everybody, you know, uh, uh, get their family members aligned and, and in position and get this good help. And also for you as the family caregiver, what I want to do is get you a paycheck. I want to put this money right into your pocket, man. That's that's what I do. So, look, if you're here with me, hashtag live. If you're here with me to rebroadcast, hashtag rebroadcast. Also, don't be afraid to put your family member's name and uh, info into the comments. Just tag it. Say, look, this is what you was talking about. You trying to get paid for taking care of your relative? Put their name straight into the comment and have them reach out to me. Or or whatever. I'll reach out to them. You know what I mean? That's simple. Simple as that. All right? So, look, I got to go. Don't let anybody shame or blame you into thinking that taking care of somebody else is bad business. You know, we doing this to get our blessings. You know, them other people, I don't know what they're going to get in the end. You know what I mean? They may not be able to walk through the gates like me and you because, you know, we took care of other people. Remember, happiness is bliss. I love you. I got to go. Talk to you soon. Peace.